You want to see me, Chief? I'm Zagrodko. Pull up a chair and have a seat. No can do, Chief. I gotta get back to those open wounds you call streets. While you're in here having a sit-down party, I'm outside scrubbing the blood of the innocent off the sidewalk. Crime is a big juicy zit, and it takes a real cop to pop it. Oh. <laughs> God damn it! Can we have one meeting where you don't compare crime to a zit or a boil? It's terrible! You're the worst! You're just the worst! Bad news for me is that I need you. We got a lead on the Midtown Slasher case. Turns out all the victims came from the same couple's counseling class. I'm gonna need you to investigate. You're gonna need to be working with a partner, though. No dice, I work alone! You work alone because all your partners get shot! I don't have time to break in some wet behind the ears rookie still covered in his mama's poon anti sauce! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Sarah! Sarah! Damn it, Sarah! Cancel my 2 p.m. spaghetti lunch with the mayor! There's no way I'm keeping that down! <laughs> and also tell Grotko's partner she can come in! She? Oh. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Bernice! My goddamn ex-wife! <laughs> well, well, well. Look at what the cat dragged in and then threw up on. Fuck you want, Bernice? You already ripped out my heart to come back from a ball. Shh. Those dried up old relics, I don't feel any teeks. That's a surprise, seeing as how you're a dusty old bitch. All right, shut up, the both of you! Here! Try not to fuck it up! And one more thing, it's undercover. You two are gonna have to pretend to be a couple again. Now get the fuck out of my office! What? Calling all cars, you stole in my heart. Baby, I loved you right from the start. Love is a crime, they you're under arrest. We're back together and this time is the best. They're the grind. You're all ready for a productive session today. I've got a surprise. You may have noticed we have some new faces joining us. It's Francis and Bernice Johnson. <laughs> this is Sam and Tammy Anderson and Matt and Pat Dixon. Now I know this might seem awkward at first, but I assure you we all felt uncomfortable at first. Yeah, at first I was like, talk about my marriage? Yuck, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you wouldn't believe how much good it does. It's in these sessions where I really feel as if we have one soul. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys do? We're on the force together. Yeah, the force? Uh, yeah, the uh, flower force. Flower force. Yeah, 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 we sell flowers, bouquets, that kind of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Working together? Now that can place a lot of stress on a marriage. How did you two meet? Start with someone else. This shit's weak. <laughs> Well, there's no need to be afraid. Afraid of? We met at the academy. Yeah. Uh, the academy? Yeah, the flower academy. Uh, well, that was a, an outbreak of weeds, and uh, Francis and I caught the case. Last thing I wanted was an office romance, but after looking into his squinty eyes and gritty teeth, well, my panties were soaking hot and red sauce. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget how she stomped ass all over those, uh, Weeds? Oh, I'll never forget that day. The fierce look in her eyes, the flecks of foam on her lips. That day she ruined me for all other women. Plus she made my dick fatter than a ballpark Frank. <laughs> That's what I call this dick, a uh, ballpark Frank. Cause I like it in my buns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we banged right there in the alley, like a couple of bears in rut. <laughs> I told him that all the good bears eat all the honey from the honey pot. I went down on it for three hours, my lips melted off. <laughs> so did mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like you two were off to a pretty hot start. What happened? <laughs> the job happened. Working at, working at the fire force, you look into the abyss, and it takes a big old nutty dumb pride on your soul. You were all I had, and you pushed me away. Well, 
the job, I just, I didn't, I didn't want to lose you. You know, I, I couldn't stand the, the thought of the abyss taking a big old dump on you. So that's why I transferred to a different flower shop. Well, I stayed in homicide. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, homicide? It's a type of flower. Look it up, you fucking idiot. I'm glad I did do it, too. Looking at the puckering asshole you turned out to be. Get fucked, you malignant coos. Okay. Okay. I think I know what's going on here. I think that you guys are fucking cops. Wait, you're the killer? You're... You're the Midtown Slasher? I could have sworn it was going to be one of these marriage homos. <laughs> Any funny business that I cut his throat from ear to ear. Now put down that gun. All right, all right, all right. All right, you win. Bernice, fuck are you doing? Take the shot. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't lose you again, Francis. Lose me? I still love you, Francis. Good. <laughs> Bernice, that day in the alley when we pumped. <laughs> What did I tell you that day, Bernice? What did I say? Well, you said, sorry my dicky act so much. Oh, God! Could you please stop it? Oh, God, you're making me nauseous. Look, we're getting out of here. You follow me and he dies. Bernice, what, what else did I tell you? Uh, well, you said that you would love me till all the stars burned out. Bernice, last time I checked, they were still shining, darling. <laughs> Oh, that is the second time you've said soak. It's really gross. I hate it. Please stop. Too busy matching genitals with his warrior princess. Hey, sounds good to me, but I'm gonna need a bathroom break first. Yeah, me too. Cause, Cause I, I gotta, gotta take a shit. shit. <laughs> 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 